My Line. Brought to you by Geritol, the high-potency vitamin iron-rich tonic in liquid or tablets to help you feel stronger. And now, let's all play What's My Line? And now, live from New York, let's meet our What's My Line panel. First, the popular columnist whose voice of Broadway appears in papers from coast to coast, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Now, a beautiful actor and a wonderful panelist, Mr. Martin Gable. On my left, the first and last Mrs. Gable, Miss Arlene Francis. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> And now, the distinguished president of Random House, whom we all love dearly, Mr. Bennett, sir. And here's our linguistic wizard, a man who <laughs> takes longer to say one sentence than it took Gordon Cooper to go around the world 22 times, <laughs> John Charles Daly. Well, that may be very true, but I can say wizard quicker than he can. <laughs> now, this, in a way, is a kind of uh, significant week for alumni, I guess. I've been up at Tilton School, my prep school, for an alumni gathering. But I've done some good reporting, too, for the week. And at the risk of embarrassing an old friend of mine, I would announce that this is the year, is the 50th anniversary of the Columbia School of Journalism. And on Wednesday of this week, an alumnus of the Graduate School of Journalism, to wit, one Bennett Cerf, was given a Distinguished Alumni Award for achievement. So there. <laughs> well, there are many things about Bennett we very rarely get to say, but he actually, he's a, an old time newspaper man. Your first job was with the New York Herald Tribune, wasn't it? Yes, it didn't last up. long. I was fired. He was fired. <laughs> That'll show him. <laughs> and that's how he got to be a successful publisher, so I'll see if I can get fired somewhere this week myself. Martin, it's very nice to see you on the panel again, sir. John, it's always a pleasure to see you. And I think we'll have some fun tonight. We have some very interesting occupations. More than that, as usual, we'll have our famous mystery guest before my friends on the panel a little bit later in the program, and we'll meet our first challenger. Meet our first contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Joe W. Schmidt. Right, sir? <laughs> Schmidt, where are you from? I'm from uh, O'Fallon, Illinois, and I've just uh, recently moved to uh, Texas. Texas, well, you're doing some traveling. It's nice to have you with us. I'm glad you came to New York, too. Thank Mr. You. Schmidt, may I present the panel? Yes. Now, would you join me over here, please? You know how we keep score? Yes. All right, then we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. All right, panel, we can tell you that Mr. Schmidt is uh, salaried and that he deals in a service. And let's begin the general questioning with uh, Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, Mr. Schmidt, uh, is your work mental rather than physical? Uh, no. That's one down and nine to go. Mr. Gable. Is your work done outdoors, Mr. Schmidt, more than it is indoors? Uh, no. That's two down and eight to go, Miss Fred. Team scores so far. Do you work with your hands in your job, Mr. Schmidt? Yes. Uh, do you work with uh, anything other than human beings in your job? Do you speak of other living entities than human beings? Yes. I know it's a no, John, but yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Three down and seven to go, better. Mr. Schmidt, do you work for a non-profit-making organization? 
Um, yes. Is it uh, some kind of a government job? Yes. Is the federal government job? Yes, it is. Did you have anything whatever to do with the uh, flight of Gordon Cooper concluded yes. the other day? Yes, sir. You did. Uh, were you, you say you work indoors. Sir. Did you have anything to do with the uh, mechanism that uh, tracked uh, his course as he went flying through the heavens? Uh, no. That's four down and six to go, but congratulations, Bennett. You've opened a Good big now. door, and I'll be, I'll be quite honest with you. This is going to be difficult for you to get, but it's an extremely interesting assignment. You try, Doris. Uh, Mr. Schmidt, you said that your work was physical more than mental. Yes. Uh, were you in Florida at the time of the blast-off? Yes, I was. Were you at Cape Canaveral? Yes. Were you within 100 yards of the gantry? Yes. Were you, in fact, at the missile launching site yes. right next to it. Did you have anything to do with lifting Gordon Cooper or putting him into the capsule? Yes. He Did you had, put him into the capsule? He had an assignment, Dorothy, that had a relationship to the whole concatenation of events which saw Cooper go into the capsule and then subsequently remain there. He was the master of ceremonies. No, <laughs> but very good. Martin? Mr. Schmidt, is, my wife will tell you I can't do anything with my hands. <laughs> so I don't think I could be very helpful here, and I pass. All right, Arlene? Well, now the fact is that you were present when he entered the capsule. Is that, we are on that? Yes. We're that far. Did you hold something in your hands at this particular time? Uh, no. Not exactly. I'm going to put all the cards over because this is really uh, great. Mr. Schmidt is a spa space suit technician and was actually uh -huh. the last man uh, in the capsule with Major Cooper. He makes the connections from the, the, in the, between the space suit and the capsule. He dre helped to dress him, or did dress him, goes out with him, checks him in the capsule. Why Dorothy? did it get so hot? That space suit. They closed that door too soon. You'd have been in there with them, wouldn't you? <laughs> I was watching that. John? Yes, sir. I, I think Mr. Schmidt's title should be Space Valid. Space Valid. Or Scientific yeah. Valid. Think Very it, good. It would be a good one. I dare say they've thought of that down in Cape Canaveral because they, they haven't <laughs> had far all of their own down there, and that probably comes into it, too. But I think Arlene's question was very interesting. Can you... Tell us, you know, why the variations in temperature is this? Uh, well, this has happened on uh, most all of our flights so far. Actually, this is not in my area. Uh, this pertains to the environmental control system and uh, the adjustment that they make uh, to properly cool the suit is a slow is, is one. It's one that uh, requires a little time after you make a slight adjustment, it because takes it a while cool. for it to stabilize. Mm -hmm. Yes. He said that he, he was cool after a while. Yeah, this is so. Yes. Once you get it adjusted, uh, you don't have uh, any further problems. May I ask you a personal question? Are you yes. youngsters yourself? Yes, I, uh, they're not really so young. I have one daughter who is married, and I have a son going to high school. Oh, great. I was just thinking, what a wonderful to, position to be in as a father. Say, well, Daddy, uh, what do you do? Well, I dress all the astronauts, there I are, when they go upstairs. <laughs> Boy, I fix their suits. I'm a spacesuit man. What a wonderful occupation as a father these days, to be a spacesuit man. Well, needless to say, uh, it hardly, I guess, has to be said. We hope if you see Major Cooper that you will give him our very best and our congratulations and all those who, who are in that great company, John Glenn and, and uh, Walter Sherrod, and, and uh, certainly... Uh, Shorty Powers ought to get a, a good yeah. hello, too. He's one of the best men on that microphone we ever heard. Give them all our regards and thanks for coming sure to see us. Thank you. Nice to see you. And now to meet our second contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Rhea. Well, as an old history student, Tawny, right? <laughs> Is it Miss or Mrs.? Yes. Miss Tawny, and where are you from? Manhattan. 
Manhattan. Oh, well, you're right at home this evening. Then, Miss Tawney, may I present our panel? Now, will you join me over here, please? Uh, do you know how we keep score? Yes. All right, then we'll let the audience at home and the audience in the theater know exactly what your line is. All right, panel, we can tell you that Miss Tawney is salaried and deals in a service, and we'll begin the general questioning with uh, that distinguished alumni over there, Mr. Sir, alumnus, oh, rather, Mr. Sir. So I got it out for you, did <laughs> Don't be a wizard. <laughs> Miss Tawney, uh, do you perform your service for members of the human race? Yes. For men and women? <clears throat> yes. Uh, do they come to you for this service? Yes. Do they, um, when, when they come to you for the service, do you come into any kind of physical contact with them? No. That's one down and nine to go. This does not rule out that there would be accidental or completely no, casual I, I, contact, I, I, but it's I not critical, Ben. One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, Miss Tawney, you look quite athletic, are you? <laughs> no. That's two down. So I, since it was a question, I think, sought, uh, to derive some valuable information. We got a flat no, Dorothy, I have to give you <laughs> two out of eight to go. Martin? Do you improve the people who, uh, who come to deal with you? Do I improve them? Yes. Oh, no. No, I don't think so. Three out and seven to go, Miss Francis. They come to you indoors. Do you uh, <coughs> instruct or... In, you did say you work indoors, or didn't no, you? That was not asked. asked. I'm sorry. No, it hasn't, it hasn't been asked, though. No, well, do you? No. That's no, fine. Well, Four well, down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Sardi, when you're performing your service, do you wear some kind of uh, dress other than the ordinary street costume of yeah. a young lady? Is it a costume that is what would, would be recognized easily at sight? You mean as identifying the... As identifying partic- more or less what she was, what she was up to? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It would tend to, Bennett. I don't want to mislead you. I would say that given the circumstance, the scene, and the costume, you would very probably adduce. But this is not to suggest that any stranger might say, oh, that's yeah. that, you know? In other words, if John, for once in his life, is being honest, this is not a uniform that could be recognized at sight. No, no. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is not. That's right. It is not. Yes, yes, it is not. Do you wear this costume for some kind of protective purpose? No. No, don't think so. No. Just to cover her up. It just is. It's good. It's working garb, Bennett. That's the thing that uh, we want to make <laughs> it clear. Wearing slacks or something like that. No. Guess. No, it's it's working garb. Five down and five to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, then, is the intent of having this costume to be more theatrical, more attractive, attract attention? No. No, it's just working garb. That's all. But it is not of such character that seeing it, you would immediately identify the occupation. Right. Mr. Gable. Am I right in uh, remembering that we have not established what sort of place you work in? You're right. Yeah. Is, is it uh, in any way related to, to an entertainment, this outdoor thing? No. Seven down and three to go, Miss Francis. You have an addiction to the word no. It's a, <laughs> it's good Tawny. for girls. Huh? Uh, <laughs> you know, I, mean. <laughs> I was a girl once. Uh, is this occupation of yours, does it take place, are you at work on or near water? No. no. Eight down and two to go, Mr. Smith. Ms. Tony, uh, do you work for a profit-making organization? Yes. Uh, does your work have anything to do with either the construction or the transportation business? No. Nine down and one to go, Miss Kilgallen. Does your uniform have a skirt rather than something like pants? Yes. Yeah. I'm so glad. <laughs> uh, does it have a relatively high neckline? Yes. Yeah. And sleeves? Yes. Yeah. Uh, could it be more than one color? No. It has ten one. down and no more to go. White. It's a majorette. Is it a white color? <laughs> no, actually, again, you know, the uniform is just, it's working garb, because, yeah. see, Miss Tawney is a restaurant doorman. Uh, 
He works at the at the uh, Penguin. The Penguin. Penguin restaurant in, in downtown. It's on. Must the be in the village. Ninth Street. West Ninth Street. Yes, West it's the Ninth only Street. place they'd have a girl for a doorman. <coughs> Such a pretty girl as a doorman. I what agree. does she wear? She's also an actress on the side, right? Yes. Studying. Yes, exactly. Actually, it's a student, Martin. That's that's. Perfectly right. You go to the neighborhood, the neighborhood, neighborhood playhouse, neighborhood playhouse school, and this is and how she sustains herself while she learns the intricacies. And if you could get, uh, I had the same Martin. problem. I got an allowance from home. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever had to bounce anybody? <laughs> oh no, that's not my job. That's not yours. Now, doormen oh, don't do that. Bouncing. I'm not that athletic. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss Tony, thank you very much for being our guest. Thank Glad you. To you. Have you <laughs> mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word from our sponsor. We come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger. Uh, blindfolds are always on the panel for this particular moment in the program. Are the blindfolds on in place panel? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, Will you please enter mystery challenger and sign in? In this case, one question at a time, moving clockwise, and we'll begin with um, Arlene Francis. Ward one, find your name in the entertainment pages of the newspaper. I would say yes, yes. Mr. Sir? Uh, do you ever, in the course of your professional duties, raise your voice in song? I want uh, very, very little, that's all. Very, very little. It is not a principal part of the performance. So that's one down to nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Um, I don't see, want to seem to be on an athletic kick, but uh, are you especially athletic for an actor? I I'm realize that's sure. an assumption. What? That you're well, an actor. I do a little athletic, but not that much, no. Uh, that's two down at eight to go, Mr. Gable. Have you ever been on this panel? No, I have never been on the panel, no. Three down at seven to go, Miss Francis. You sound so doer. Could you be a comedian? Well, yes, I am. <laughs> this is sir. Have you uh, done your comic stuff on the Broadway stage within the past year? Yes, I have, yes. Miss Kilgallen? Are you also seen on television? Yes, I am. Mr. Gable? Are you now in a Broadway musical? That's true, yes. Miss Francis? Broadway musical now. Um, comedian. Television. Um... Are you in a musical that was based on a comic book? Yes, I, I, I were, yes. Are you, by any chance, the, one of the finest entertainers in America, Mr. Sid Caesar? Yes, yes. <laughs> Little me, can you imagine a, yeah. a big man like Sid in, in a Well, program, he's not the little a, me, I'll tell you that. No, sir. He's just wonderful. That was a wonderful voice, this guy. Thank you very much. And, of course, uh, golly, I guess television will always owe you a tremendous debt. You know, I read somewhere today, reading some collection about uh, this, the arts in America, and they were talking about television, they talked about the yeah, primitive yeah. period, 49 and 50, yes. you know, Sid, but you brought a great talent and a great deal of integrity and quality to television. He will always owe you that he's debt. He's going to do a new one, aren't you, Sid? Well, he's now, on, he's now on another network, which uh, no longer has primitive. the initials ABC, <laughs> but he does special. But he used, he was used to every... Good. He used to work so hard. I hope you don't work in that hard anymore. Well, we'll see. How many, I must changes, how many changes do you make in Little Mace? There's seven, uh, isn't there? There's how many parts you play? Hmm? 23? 23 performances. No, sure. he has to be athletic for that. No, but there, how many different parts <laughs> do you play? There are seven different uh, Seven different roles, seven different yes. Different mm -hmm. It's a fine show. It's a great show. Thank you very much. And you do us much honor to give us some time on a Sunday night. Thanks very much. Thank it's you, sir. Wonderful <laughs> I think we must agree that you've done rather well so far tonight, panel. Well, you got nothing but no's, John. Oh, <laughs> no, you just got some yeses. We'll have another contestant after this. We're 
Now to meet our next challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Grace B. Maida, is that right? Miss or Mrs.? It's Mrs. Mrs. Maida, yes. where are you from, ma'am? I'm from Alberton, New York. Alberton, New York? Albertson. Albertson, where is that? That's on Long Island. Oh, out on Long Island? Yes. Oh, fine. Yes. See, I don't know all the towns <laughs> on Long Island yet. May I present our panel, Miss Maida? How do you Maida. Do? Would you join me over here, please? Do you know how we keep score? Yes, I do. All right, then we'll let the audience at home and the audience in the theater know exactly what your line is. Righty now, panel, uh, we can tell you that Mrs. Uh, Maida is self-employed and deals in a product. And I think we'll begin the general questioning with Martin Gable. Thank you. Mrs. Maida, do you do your work in Long Island? Yes, I do. Is it something to do with a, a uh, seasonal product? Uh, no. One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Is it a product that I might use? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it a product that is found in the home? Mm, no. That's two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, is this a manufactured product, Mr. Yes, Maida? it is. Uh, do you handle it after it is manufactured? Yes, I do. Is it manufactured by somebody entirely apart from you? Yes, it is. Is, is it solid? Yes. Is it uh, used anywhere in the grounds outside the home? You say yes. it's not used in the home? It's used in the grounds. Right. Uh, could it be used for purposes of pleasure or relaxation? Mm, no. I no, I would not say so. I think there's possibly um, some relationship if the interest were particular and very specific, but I wouldn't say it in any general way, Bennett. That's three dot and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, Mrs. Maida, uh, if I bought one of these things and put it in the grounds outside of my home, to be pretty funny because I live in the city. Um, would it remain in the same condition, barring accidents? Yes, it would. Uh, it's durable then. Right. Would people see it if they came to call? Yes, they would. Uh, would it be near the entrance or the pathway to the door? I would say that it could Relatively, be. Relatively, mm -hmm. yes. It could be. This would be pretty yes. much a matter of the discretion of the uh, owner. Does it? Uh, rest, does the bottom part of it rest on the ground? No, it doesn't. No. That's four down and six to go, Mr. Gable. Is it decorative in any way? Yes. This it, might not be its purpose, yes, but we it, would it, agree that it does have a decorative. But it's also functional. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, is the function to help the grounds or the human beings who inhabit the house as they approach it? That's very good. Actually, we can answer that with five down and five to go. <laughs> Ms. Preston. Now, since it is not uh, based on the ground, does it hang from something? It could. Could it... Um, I'm sorry, Arlene, we've run out of time. Bird, bird, bird House. Bird House is right! <laughs> bird House is by Maida and... Um, and they have this a safety nest feature, which is what Mrs. Maida is very interested in. They have a baffle built into it so that a big bird can't get its beak up in and, to, and attack the nest. That's its special feature, you see. Good. And thank you very much for bringing it and your good self to our program. Thank you. I, thank you. I thought it was very Thank you, Mrs. Maida. And now, on that happy note, we can all go bird watching. Good night, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Good night, John. Good night, Morton. Good night, Dorothy. Arlene. I have a cuckoo at my house. <laughs> Good, night, John. Good night, you wizard. Good night, John. <laughs> okay, wizard. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being with us on What My Life. What's My Line is a CBS Television Network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Hotman. Johnny Olsen speaking.